Howdy, homesteaders! Today, we're going to do a collaboration. Earlier today, uh, my wife, uh, she likes to, you know, watch videos, and, you know, we like to watch a lot of different YouTubers, especially uh, dealing with homesteading, and, uh, you know, we really enjoy it. Sometimes we watch them because we want to learn something new. Uh, sometimes we watch them because we want to just, you know, see how they do it. You know, sometimes you'll find different variations, how different people do things different ways. And, you know, that's just interesting to us. And, and she found, I guess, at first we thought it was a collaboration, but it turned out it was like, what, tagging? Yeah. Okay. So it's a tagging and, uh, you know, I'm not fully aware of how the whole thing works exactly. Uh, but it was, what, what she found out was to riches and boards homesteading uh, and they are part of I guess the tagging uh, for the five things that you're most excited to grow this year and I thought hey that's a really good topic uh, you know and uh, that's basically where we got the idea for this collaboration because uh, uh, like I said I don't really understand how the tagging this stuff works so I decided to just go ahead and make a collaboration uh, but if you would, just go ahead and go to Wrenches and Boards Homesteading and uh, go to watch their video. And uh, sure, they want you to get involved in that, uh, that process they got there. Uh, but I kind of got thinking, you know, uh, that's one thing about homesteading and farming is sometimes you, you get a really good idea. And you're like, well, you know, I think maybe I, I could just change it a little here, tweak it a little there. And you end up with an idea that's, you know, similar, right? Uh, so I think that's what I did today is I thought, well, you know, uh, what would be really kind of exciting is I could start a collaboration on something like a similar topic, uh, like the, the, the five things that you're most excited about doing this year, uh, whether it be gardening or livestock or just projects that you've been looking forward to doing, uh, just the five things you're most excited about doing uh, you know, this spring. Uh, and I thought that would be a really good topic. And the way I'm thinking about doing it is we can make this a collaboration. And the way it would work is you would just come to this video and in the, in the uh, comments below, just say, uh, I'm in or count me in. So you put the words count me in or I'm in, right? And I see that pop up under uh, this the video. Uh, then I will go to your channel and find the video that you made about the five things that you're excited about doing this spring. And then I will take that video and put it into my playlist. And I'm going to see how big this playlist can get. And everyone that watches your video will be referred back to the playlist, which will also be referred to everyone else in the playlist. So it's kind of like everyone kind of gets a, a benefit from it. Now, so if you just say, uh, count me in, and you already have your video done, then I'll go and take a look at it and I'll add it to the playlist. Now, I will have to ask it, uh, you know, please uh, be respectful, you know, and just make a nice, clean uh, video that the whole family can watch. And that's what we try to do here with this, this channel. Uh, so if, you, if you're willing to honor that, then I would welcome you in uh, to the collaboration. Just say, count me in, I'll go check out your video, and as long as it's not crazy and and illicit or anything like that, as long as it's uh, family friendly, I'll go ahead and add you to the uh, the playlist, and you'll be part of the playlist. And let's just see how big this playlist can get. Uh, now I do have to put a limit on it, so let's just put the limit on uh, any time from this day, whenever this video is posted, uh, from the time this video is posted, uh, let's put it all the way up to uh, March 15th. March 15th, because we'll We'll actually be getting into spring by then, so hopefully you'll have your five things already picked. Um, so, and like I said, it could be gardening, it could be livestock, it could be projects you're looking forward to, just five things you're really excited about uh, for this spring. While we do our five things, we're going to get something done. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get some uh, seeds planted and get them in the uh, little starters. And that way we'll have that ready, so we're going to work on that. Didn't click. Whoa. I'm about to oil that up. Jasper, what are you doing? Jasper, Jasper. 
I'm trying to make a video here. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing, Jasper? What are you doing? Hey! What are you doing? Okay, we're going to open this bag. Jasper, watch out. This is the knife. Jasper, back up. You don't want your soil to be so wet that it's muddy, but you don't want it to be so dry that it's not sticking together. So when you take the soil and you put it in your hand like that and you squeeze it, it should stay together in a clump, but also still be able to break apart easy at the same time. So uh, this, this soil is already uh, saturated where we need it to be. Look, I got my hands dirty. I get so excited I just want to jump right in there. Oh yeah, this works a lot better. Let's move it around. That was a little sharp. And use this one. And I know we've mentioned this before, but these are handmade tools. And uh, who was it that made this, honey? It was like uh, something homestead iron. But these are really good handmade tools and. Uh, I'm sure they're gonna last a, a long time. It's raw iron, tempered in steel. So it should last a long time. It makes perfect for what we're using this for. My first thing that I'm excited about this spring is quail. Uh, we've been really looking into it for a while, and the more we look into it, the more excited we get about it. So I'm really looking forward to uh, hatching out and raising some quail this spring. And they're a really good source of eggs, even a good source of meat. So they are a dual purpose uh, animal and they literally live on bird seed.
most seeds, um, tomatoes and peppers and things, uh, cabbages, they only need a fourth of an inch to uh, be planted in. And, um, and that is the size of an unused racer, eraser. And so um, I learned that from a uh, channel I really enjoy going to. It's called Flutie Lake Homestead. And I'd never ever started um, seeds before in, inside before. And so I really, really didn't know uh, how to do it. And uh, I watched their, their video on it. They did two seasons. They filmed it two seasons in a row. And it was uh, very explanatory, very, very, e makes it look very easy. And so, uh, I really enjoyed it. So, uh, Flutie Lake Homestead, my thing that I'm excited to do, most excited to do, is um, start seeds inside. I've, uh, I've had lots of gardens before, and I've usually uh, either direct sowed my cucumbers and squash and different things into the garden itself, or I've bought the plants like peppers and tomatoes, things I had to start inside, like my and my cabbages and stuff. I would buy them at a greenhouse and then put them in my garden. I've never started my own seedlings under a grow light, and I'm really, really excited about it. Anyways, I really enjoyed. Um, I'm really excited about starting our own seeds this year. This is not our farm. It's not even a picture of our farm. It's a picture on our wall. That's right. We are potting up for some seeds on the kitchen table. Check it out. to put the seeds in and it's kind of exciting like my wife had already shared uh, we haven't really done this together before and now I'm going to reveal another thing that I'm excited about this year excited about <laughs> these tomatoes. Uh, these tomatoes are a heirloom. They're called mortgage lifters and they're the uh, holidays of mortgage lifters. And the reason why they call them that is because they're so huge and meaty uh, that you could actually, I guess at the time, get a good uh, price for them uh, back in those days. And but as big as the tomatoes were and charge it by the pound, uh, you make a lot more money off these and say those other smaller tomatoes that are mostly seeds. Uh, so that's why they're called a mortgage lifter, so you can make enough money to pay off your mortgage. And uh, so anyway, uh, they're heirlooms and uh, we actually bought these, I believe, the first year uh, that we were married, back in 2014, and we haven't gotten around to planting them yet. So whether or not they germinate, who knows? Uh, we're hoping that they will. So. Uh, there's going to be some faith involved in these growing, so I'm really excited about that. And I like the, the title, Mortgage Lifter. Uh, right now, we're trying to sell our house, and we're trying to get our mortgage lifted from us uh, by selling the house. So uh, there's so many reasons why I want these. Uh, also, I love tomatoes. Uh, I love uh, tomatoes on sandwiches and salads uh, and sauces like uh, spaghetti sauce and pizza sauce and... You know, I like tomatoes. They can have a chili. There's all kinds of things you can use tomatoes for. So I'm really excited about having tomatoes, and hopefully we'll be able to can some this year. We don't have the right soil uh, for what we're doing here. We have garden soil, and it's a lot chunkier than your uh, potting soil mix. So it's not potting soil. It's not the best for what we're doing, but it's all we've got. Uh, so we're going to go with it anyway.
I'm just making little labels so we know what we're planting. So we're just using what we have available. I think it might turn out to be nice. This is my sign for the mortgage lifter. Pick a piece of scotch tape. We're supposed to plant them just barely, just put them on the surface and just kind of press them into the soil. about and it's probably the thing that we are most excited about is selling the house that's right I mentioned it before if we sell the house we will get that mortgage lifted off of our backs and things will get a whole lot easier I gotta tell you so that's one of the most uh, exciting things we have coming uh, this spring and so far unless things change uh, we should be closing uh, March 15th, so we are looking forward to that day. Please don't forget, uh, if you want to be counted in, put count me in, and I will go and I will look at your video and I will add you to the playlist. Let's see how long, how big we can make this playlist go and see what comes of it. Uh, so I guess I should try to find some way uh, to end this video. Hmm. Uh, what about Jasper? Does Jasper have anything to say? Oh, 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 oh.